This video is going to show you how to prove that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection, which is we call the law of reflection. So for this activity you're going to need a piece of binder paper, your light box, a mirror, and a protractor. So what you will do first is you'll use the cards to make a narrow beam of light coming out of your light box. Then what you're going to do is on your binder paper you're going to use use the red line on the binder paper to represent where the surface, where the mirror is going to sit. Okay. From that red line draw a 90 degree a line coming 90 degrees off of it that's a perpendicular line and we call that normal. So that's just a perpendicular line from our surface, which will be our mirror. Then what you'll do is you'll allow this beam of light to hit your mirror and what you'll notice is you see how I move my mirror at different angles, I get a different angle for my reflective beam. So what I want to do is I want to get that normal line exactly in between this little V that's created here. This is the angle of incidence, this is the angle of reflection. And I want to get that V to be bisected by the normal line. That looks about right, but I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Once I have that, I'm going to just draw a line showing basically the angle of incidence, that's right here, compared to the angle of reflection, which is right here. Once I have those two lines, then I can use my protractor to measure them. want to continue this so it comes straight down. Okay, so now I'm going to measure these lines. So take your protractor, line it up with your normal line and your the red line on your paper is your surface. I can make a little arc here to show the angle and then you can see here the numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, so this is 77 degrees. And then this angle here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75 degrees. Okay, so those are my angles. So this angle should equal this angle. They're slightly different. So I'm going to do this experiment three times and find an average and see if on average I get equal angles. So go ahead and try it.